All right, so here we go, round one. I can barely hear myself think in this arena right now. Two of the most dominant, well-rounded fighters in this division. I mean, these guys are the best of all the mixed martial arts. They can do everything when they're locked inside of the octagon. I'm so excited to watch the highest level of MMA. You didn't like that later. And now he lands a combination. See if he can use that jab and try to keep his opponent on the outside. Must be nice for these long fighters, huh? I mean, they are able to touch you. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. He's gonna try to take him down. There you go. Oh, how about the slam there? That one cannot feel good. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Might be a submission attempt here, champ. I mean, you cannot sit in a full guard. When you sit in the full guard, you give these guys so many opportunities. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Oh, and he moves into half guard. The guard pass is starting to pop. Now he has a headlock trying to pin his opponent's back down flat onto the mat. Look for him to transition to an arm triangle to try to chase the finish. Watch triangle, watch triangle. And he's out. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. All right, he's sort of hanging out here unguarded, DC. Not sure if he's trying to bait him in or what, but not great body language here. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. This ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is his opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, he creates this space to land these beautiful ground and pound combinations. Well, you see all the grappling repetitions here. Just beautiful movement, seamless transitions on the ground. Over and over, these guys are doing things that you see in every jiu-jitsu gym around the country. Close guard. Well, hard to win fights in mixed martial arts from the bottom, but nice work here nice in that position. Triangle. triangle looks pretty tight, DC. I'm no Brazilian jiu-jitsu black belt, but maybe not good here. No, it looks like it's getting in deep. Watch triangle, watch triangle. here now trying to hip escape he's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom all right so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy you don't want to mess around for too long well you got to be working off of your back he's certainly doing so here nice punch all right it's a good ground and pound by him here certainly staying busy and not just busy but effective you can just throw punches to keep the referee off of you this guy is throwing punches to be effective to throw damaging strikes he's doing a fantastic job Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. All right, bottom fighter here. Maybe looking to hip escape, DC. All right, close guard now. Well, pretty good work off of the bottom here by Velasquez. Oh, useful strike on the ground that was. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Now he's okay. Now he can escape. Lands a strike now from the bottom. Nice work there by Cain Velasquez. Outstanding ground and pound here. Somewhat of a lost art in MMA, at least in terms of making sure that every strike counts. Not an issue for him. He's making every single one of them count. He is not pity patting. He's not touching. Every punch that lands, he wants you to feel it. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Well, he's more than content to work off of his back, DC, where he has been a magician in his UFC career. Oh, really nice work to keep busy off of his back as he lands some more offense here for Bob. Close guard. Working on a guillotine.
All right, so a big knockdown for him, courtesy of that punch in that round. DC, here's a replay. Big moment in the previous round. They were both fighting very well, but when he landed this punch right here that sits his opponent down, it showed that the power is not equal, and if he can land, he does have the ability to damage it. You ready? You ready? All right, second round underway. Oh, really using his reach advantage there with that punch, DC. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. And they separate. He blocks the punch. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the whole platter. <laughs> Give him the whole platter. Oh, that was a big takedown. Is this the one that's going to break him? Close guard. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Oh, nice job here staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Oh, nice job using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do now. She's going to start looking to land big shots from the top. All right, so he's got the body locked down here, DC, or so it appears. This is not a guy you want anywhere near your back. Continues to apply pressure here at half guard. Now the guy's got on bar. He's attacking it on him. Nicely done. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Beautiful movement, hip work on the ground here, just outstanding with the transition. He is not staying in one place on the ground, and that's very important. Top pressure being applied here. Under three minutes now to go here in round two. Well, working pretty effectively from the top here. Nice ground and pound by Velasquez. Guy's attacking the triangle. He finds himself in trouble because he got a little bit lazy in the full guard. Looks like he's trying to manipulate the head. This could be tight. Watch triangle. Watch triangle. He needs to push the arm to the side. Get his head against the mat. Now watch as he goes to the finish. Watch this. Oh, man, that was slick. Scramble, scramble. Man, isn't it fun to watch this dude work on the mat? It's unbelievable how fluid he is in his motions on the mat. Just over two minutes to go. Pretty good ground and pound by him here. He told us on Thursday he needed to be more effective in these situations. Certainly effective tonight. Many people have gone away from this style of fighting. This man has embraced it, and you are seeing why he's one of the best that we've seen do it in a long time. All right, he's hanging out inside the closed guard of his opponent here, DC. You got to be careful. Both fighters back to their feet now. Stuff the takedown, no problem. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. Single collar tie now. And now he engages in a Muay Thai clinch. And I think a lot of people watching wonder how you can control an opponent like that. And potentially a critical takedown here. Inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Oh, you gotta watch him attack his submissions. He throws the legs up to try to get a triangle choke here. There he is. He's moving to the finishing position. Now watch, he goes parallel right next to him. And he's out. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. All right, has the guard closed here. 
Now he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Back mount now. 20 seconds left. All right, half-guard position here. We'll see what he can do with it. A lot of weapons at his disposal from this dominant position. Oh, man. I feel for a wrestler, this is the most dominant position in all of fighting because wrestlers love control. Right. And to have your upper body free and your leg able to hold your opponent in position, it is like striking gold. Build your posture, throw your punches, big damage, but then always control the far side underhook. This is a great position for a top fighter. All right, let's check out some of the action, DC. What a display of just sheer punching in that last round. I mean, he looks like a boxer. He looks like a professional boxer out there throwing and stringing those combinations together. He landed those big punches over and over again, and it was this one right here that really did change the tide of the round. Nice defense on the single leg takedown. You can tell he's worked on that. Right hand punch from the clinch. Nice straight punch there. Must be nice to have a reach advantage like this, DC. Grabbing the back of the head. Pulling. Wow. Actually got the takedown. Velasquez's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Able to land with the left hand there. Man, this is some serious ground and pound here, DC. He's not just staying busy for the sake of staying. Look at him attacking that guillotine. on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Pretty good work with the ground and pound here by Velasquez. All right, close guard now. You got to be careful, though. He's got a lot of submissions off his back. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Man, how fun is this to watch as he continues to dole out damage with the ground and pound? Take it back to the days of guys like Mark Coleman just beating people up the ground and pound. This guy is a throwback fighter and he's very fun to watch. Yeah, the godfather would be proud. All right, working inside his opponent's guard here. You cannot sit in these jiu-jitsu guys' guard. And you can't have one arm in, one arm out. Guys will start throwing up legs, chasing triangles. All right, good movement by him here on the ground. He really is a master of these transitions. He is a master of movement on the ground. You never know where he's going to be. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Good movement by him here, transitioning very well on the ground tonight. Step for step, he's staying with his opponent in every transition. Oh, this is where you don't want to be, though. Lands with the ground and pound. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around. Right now, it looks like he may be trying to set up an arm triangle choke. He needs to secure the left arm, push it across, and secure it with his head. Watch running, watch running. Nicely done. Oh, nice job to reverse position on the ground. It was bad, but now it's not so bad. What a fantastic sweep. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. All right, side control now, DC. You know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. Lands with the ground and pound here. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. He jumps on a headlock. We call this in wrestling just a headlock. And if you're not careful, you can get stuck in an arm triangle. My triangle, my triangle. He's to push the arm to the side. 
get his head against the mat. Now watch as he goes to the finish. Watch his chest go to the mat. He goes to the and he's out. Couple hammer fish there for good measure. Yep, and he's got him secured in a half guard now. Oh, that'll work. The grounded pound strike is good. All right, so pretty good damage here with the ground and pound. Nothing superficial about these strikes. They are intending to harm. Oh, yeah, he's landing very accurately, and he's landing to get damage on. All right, working inside the close guard now. Oh, the ground and pound strikes continue to rain down. The opponent better move out of harm's way, or the referee's going to stop this. He better start to move, and when his opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hip, push him away to try to escape this very, very dangerous position. Sound strike on the ground. Waiting seconds here of round number three. Useful strike there, the ground and pound on point tonight. Hey, stop! All right, no Telestrator for DC tonight, but we'll get you some replays. And if you like face punching, that was a good round. Yeah, where's my Telestrator, man? <laughs> I want to draw this action. But yeah, John, you're right. It was the striking, it was the punches that really did allow him to take control of this round. All right, folks, here we go with our next round. And in terms of his output and his efficiency with his significant strikes in the previous round, you can argue that was the best five-minute stretch of his UFC career. Oh, absolutely. the best five minutes he has ever had. He was in a zone. Everything he threw was just landing and landing with vicious intent. He's got to feel confident as he gets off the screen at the beginning of this round. Well, he's more than content to work off of his back, DC, where he has been a magician in his UFC career. Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, You've got to intelligently defend, or the referee's going to stop you got to defend, but you can see him now starting to gain posture, and the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes is starting to improve. It's starting to elevate because he knows that he can get the finish. All right, looks like he's got a couple hooks in here, Dees. No, you don't want him on your back. He's going to start looking to try to attack a rear naked choke, and that's exactly what he's doing. He is doing a really good job of relaxing not panicking because he's getting choked. And he's out. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. All right, we'll see if he postures up and can get some of his ground strikes going here. Both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. All right, so he's sort of turtled up here. Not great body language. Perhaps he's trying to bait him in a little bit. Side control now. Well, you got to stay busy on the bottom. He's doing it here. Nice punch. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Oh, he postured up there, gained some valuable separation. And now the ground and pound start. Man, this is some serious ground and pound. He's trying to put this dude's head like through the canvas. He's one of the better ground and pound fighters we have in the entire UFC, and you're seeing why. All right, he's sort of hanging out here unguarded, DC. Not sure if he's trying to bait him in or what, but not great body language here. And they both stand up. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you're looking for. Try to take the judges out of it. He is lighting them up now. Exploiting his 
nice reach advantage as he landed the jab there, DC. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Oh, collar tie. Right hand punch. They continue to exchange. Real nice body kick land. Quick entry to get Man, him on a single. Was a great single. Oh. Oh. Welcome to the Cormier Express. <laughs> well, you know, I don't like the gi very much, but I have... Now he sees the triangle. And this could be trouble here. Looks like it's pretty tight. He's trying to work his head out of harm's way. It, it might be over. Watch triangle, watch triangle. There he is. He's moving to the finishing position. Now watch him go parallel. And this might just be a matter of time. Right into side control, DC. This is where you want to be now because you get to make your opponent decide. If they try to turn back into you, you can attack guillotine. If they turn away to try to get to your knees, you throw your hooks in and you got all your rear choke submissions. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Velazquez's lower jaw is extremely swollen now. Oh, these are some serious punches from the top here. He's continuing to maintain good posture in making these strikes. He's doing a really good job of watching me up and making him with the count while not putting himself in danger. I love watching this guy move on the ground. Another nice transition there. Such a high-level grappler. You don't see that very often. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Horn sounds for the end of round four. All right, so a crowd-pleasing five minutes in the books. DC, take us through some of the highlights. Punch after punch landed right on his opponent's face. He did a great job of finding his target, locking in, and then getting, the, getting his fist to the target in that round. Just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Changes. Velazquez gets the double leg takedown. Nothing telegraphed about that shot. Well done. I mean, is this thing on repeat? How many times can you say punch to the head? All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent, you got to be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. All right, a good ground and pound by him here, certainly staying busy, and not just busy, but effective. You can just throw punches to keep the referee off of you. This guy is throwing punches to be effective, to throw damaging strikes. He's doing a fantastic job. Oh, watch Guti here. from guard, nice combination there. Everything he throws is with fight ending intentions. Oh, lands with the ground and pound strike. All right, working inside the closed guard now. This is no safe place against this opponent. Outstanding ground and pound here. Somewhat of a lost art in MMA, at least in terms of making sure that every strike counts. Not an issue for him. He's making every single one of them count. He's not pity pat. He's not touching. Every punch that lands, he wants you to feel it. Well, you see all the grappling repetitions here. Just beautiful movement, seamless transitions on them. Over and over, these guys are doing things that you see in every jiu-jitsu gym around the country. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. 
All right, inside his opponent's guard here, DC. You don't want to play around here too long. No, you got to either have two hands in or two hands out. Our guy start to attack triangle. He's going to start trying to move to a submission here. It looks like he's trying to attack the arm triangle. Watch triangle, watch triangle. Get his head against the mat. Now, nicely done. Pretty good work with the strikes here off of his back by Velasquez. Oh, big combination of ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you got to be very careful when you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need a controlled posture on the bottom. And if you're the top guy, the guy that's looking to finish, continue to gain posture. It's rained out big strikes in your point. Close guard. Oh, he keeps attacking that left eye. Now it's starting to close. Oh, reversal here, DC. What a way to switch the position. Fantastic movement by the bottom fighter. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. The ground and pound has been there all night. 90 seconds and counting to go in the fight. Deal to spend this much time on the bottom, but you can't fault him for his activity. Landing strikes here from the bottom. Nice work by Velasquez. Pretty good ground and pound by him here. He told us on Thursday he needed to be more effective in these situations. Certainly effective tonight. Many people have gone away from the style of fighting. This man has embraced it, and you are seeing why he's one of the best that we've seen do it in a long time. All right, he's got the hooks in DC working off of his back. Now look for him to attack the neck of his opponent to try to get the rear choke. Well, he's got his back now. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Keep it busy here off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. All right, great position for him here. He's got the full mount. See if he can get that ground and pound going. Oh, he's got to get it going, but he can't rush. A lot of times, guys get in the full mount, and they rush. They get nervous. They're like, oh, my goodness, I'm winning. Reality is, you're winning, but it can change in a matter of seconds because then they can be gone. He's got to drop his hips, be really heavy at the opponent's base, and then just start to work. Make the opponent give his back so that he can try to get his chokes off or find great ground and pound, but very patient ground and pound from such a dominant position. What a fight! Official decision is in. Bruce Buffer has it. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the contest. 49-45. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision, Bruce Rasna! All right, so there he is. The celebration is on. He tried to leave the judges out of it tonight. Was unable to do that, but a pretty dominant effort nonetheless. He's your winner by unanimous decision. And you've got to feel good about that. You've got to feel good about dominating every aspect of a fight and getting a victory. He should be very proud of his performance tonight.